In this lecture, we will understand what are even and odd discrete time signals and we will begin our discussion with even discrete time signals. And to understand what are even discrete time signals, I will take one discrete time signal Xn and let's perform the time reversal operation on this discrete time signal. And after performing this operation, we will have a new signal which is x minus n. Now if x minus n is equal to the initial signal xn, x minus n is equal to the initial or original signal xn, then we will say that the signal xn is an even discrete time signal. To understand this, let's take one example and in this example, the discrete time signal xn is having the plot like this and to check if signal xn is an even signal or not, we will perform the time reversal operation and obtain signal x minus n and this is how the plot of signal x minus n will look. On comparison, you will find the two plots are same. This implies original signal xn is equal to the signal obtained after performing the time reversal operation and hence signal xn is an even signal. Signal xn is an even signal and the type of signal is discrete time signal therefore we will call it is even discrete time signal. Now look at the waveform of signal xn. You will find it is symmetrical about the y-axis. This is the y-axis and on the right hand side of the y-axis we have the same structure as the structure on the left hand side of the y-axis. Therefore the signal is symmetrical about the y-axis and therefore even discrete time signals are always symmetrical about the y-axis. And also you can see that the signal is mirror image about the y-axis. If you put a mirror here, you will find you will have the same type of structure on the right hand side. Therefore, it is mirror image about the y-axis. Or you can say after flipping the signal about the y-axis, once you flip the signal about the y-axis, you will have the same signal like in this case. And this is what we do in case of time reversal operation. So all these points reflect to a single point which means the signal is going to be even in nature. Now we will move on to odd discrete time signals and here also I will take one discrete time signal xn and I will perform the same time reversal operation and we will have a new signal x minus n. Now if x minus n is equal to the negative of the original signal then we will say that signal xn is an odd signal. So you can see the difference between the two cases. Here x minus n the signal after performing the time reversal is equal to the original signal but here x minus n is equal to the negative of the original signal. So keep these two points in your mind and you will easily solve the questions related to even and odd signals. From here we can say that xn xn is equal to minus x minus n. So this is what we have obtained after multiplying negative sign on both the sides. Now we will solve one example. In this example this is the plot of signal xn and as usual we will perform the time reversal operation. This means we will flip the signal waveform about the y-axis. Let's flip it and you will find when n is equal to minus 3, 3 will be the value of xn and when n is equal to 3, minus 3 will be the value of xn. This is what we do. This 3 will come here and this minus 3 will come here. Similarly, 2 will go to n equal to minus 2, minus 2 will go to n equal to 2, 1 will go to n equal to minus 1 
and minus 1 will go to n equal to 1 and 0 will remain at the same place. So you will have the waveform like this and you can see that the same thing I have drawn in this case and this is the waveform of signal x minus n but we need to find minus x minus n we have obtained x minus n but we are required to find minus x minus n this means we need to perform the amplitude reversal as well and if after performing the amplitude reversal of this signal if we get the original signal then we will say that signal xn is an odd signal so let's quickly perform the amplitude reversal operation and this time we will flip the signal waveform about the x-axis so flip the signal waveform about the x-axis and you will find the final result looks like this and this is the plot of minus x minus n this signal we have obtained after performing time reversal and amplitude reversal on the original signal xn now when you compare the two waveforms you will find they are same this means xn xn is equal to minus x minus n minus x minus n and therefore the signal we are having is an odd discrete time signal so this is all for this lecture we had enough knowledge about even and odd continuous time signals and therefore understanding even and odd discrete time signals is not at all difficult therefore I hope you have the clear understanding of discrete time signals which are even and odd in nature and now I will end this lecture here see you in the next one.